Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're gonna remove this trim piece right here. I'm gonna use a trim tool, slide under here, pry up a little bit. Pry it up like that. These are the retainers that were holding it on. That one was holding up, up a little bit. Just push down on that. And then we'll disconnect the electrical connector. I'm just gonna push this button right here and pull out the connector. I'm gonna remove these two screws. I'm gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take those out. So now we have door pins all around the perimeter of the door panel. I'm gonna use a trim tool, get underneath here. I'm just gonna pry it out and go all the way around. Those are all popped out. You can grab the door panel, lift up, slide it out. Pull the electrical connector through. And then there's this electrical connector here and here. To disconnect this electrical connector, I'm going to use a small flat blade screwdriver, just slide it in there, lift up, and then pull that out. There's a little button that you push right here on this connector, and slide that out. Then the electrical connectors are disconnected. Now we can remove this cable that goes to the inside door panel. To disconnect this cable from the inside door handle, I'm gonna lift up on this side of the cable, this little yellow retainer, and then you can slide this out like that, and then the ball will slide up like that, and then we can remove the door panel. To remove the speaker, we're gonna use a seven millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Remove that bolt. You can grab the speaker, just pull it forward. You could use a trim tool as well, get in behind here. And then once it's pried out like that, I'm gonna lift up. Now we're gonna remove this electrical connector. There's a little button on the connector. Push that button down, just pull the connector out. And you can use a trim tool to remove the wiring harness. Right there. And there's your speaker. All right, to disconnect this door catch, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. I'm gonna take these two nuts off first. that nut off. Be careful, the door's kind of gonna just swing on its own at this point. So I'm gonna put my hand inside the door holding it, and then I'm gonna take this last bolt off over here on the B-pillar. Loosen this up. Disconnect the 
this. And then I'll take it out by hand. Pull this bolt out. And I can reach in here where the speaker was. Slide the door, check out. And there it is. All right, now we're gonna slide the door check back through the speaker hole and guide it through the hole right here. Slide it up. We want these studs to come through before we put this bolt in. I'm just gonna put one of the nuts on, get it started just so it doesn't fall in. Then I will take the 10 millimeter bolt that goes in here. I'll get that started. And I'll take my ratchet, my extension, and my 10 millimeter socket, and I'll tighten this down. Once that's tight, just snug it up a little bit. And I'll put my other nut on over here. And I'll use my 10 millimeter socket, extension, and ratchet again to tighten this. Snug that one up, and then the same for the top. Snug those up. All right, we're gonna reinstall this speaker. Just take this electrical connector here, we'll line it up, lock it in place, take the wiring harness, and we're gonna clip it back in that hole. Then line this slot up at the bottom of the door, push it on, take our seven millimeter bolt, get that started. And we'll use our seven millimeter socket extension and ratchet and snug it up. I'm gonna reattach this cable to the inside door handle. This ball is gonna go in the slot right here. And I'm gonna slide the cable to the side. And then Lock it on like that. And then I can connect these electrical connectors. This one is gonna get connected right here. Just line it up. There is a slot. Lock it in. This other harness is gonna slide through the slot right here. You're gonna fish it through the front of the door. That will connect to the window switch. And then there's one more wire harness that's gonna connect right here to the LED light. When those are all connected, and we can slide this panel back on. So we're, we're gonna make sure this door lock knob is in the up position. Then we're gonna slide it through the hole over here. Once that's through, then we can get push the top of the door panel towards the window. Make sure that channel's in place. And then we'll line up all the door pins. Once those are all lined up, then we can tap it back on. Just like that. I'll install these two Phillips head screws. Snug, and that one's snug. I'm gonna connect this electrical connector to the window switch. Just line it up, lock it in place. You can take this trim, line the retainers up, there and there. And we can just 
push it down, lock it in place. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.